say, well, that's for pastors, that's for evangelists, that's for this, that's for that. They forget that Jesus was not modeling a pastor. Jesus was not modeling, <laughs> though he was an evangelist. That's not what his primary model was. His model was, I love the Father, and I will do what the Father says, that the Father would be glorified. Yeah. And there isn't anybody sitting in this church that that's not your job. That's your job as a witness. God may use you as an evangelist. You may preach through the pulpit. You may help people in their homes. You may do a lot of different things, but there is nothing greater than that witness. That the Father glorified the Son. And that the Son did and glorified the Father through his obedience unto death. So he says in 19, is that where I said we were start? No, 20. Because he's now praying. He prayed in the first part of this prayer for his apostles and his disciples that had traveled with him. But then he starts to talk about us, you and I. Xavier, you and I. In this prayer, it talks about you, Xavier. It talks about you, Josh, and you, Damian. He's talking about you right here. Neither pray I for these alone, meaning his disciples. But for those, or them, that's you guys, that's me, that's us, who shall also believe on him, on me, through the word of my disciples. Through this. So he's saying, he's sitting there, he's kneeling there at a rock, they said, that is still preserved to this day, praying for us in the face of what he was going to do. And, he, and this was his purpose, that they, meaning you and I, may all be one as you, Father, are in me and I'm in you, that they also may be one in us. We have to really open ourselves up to the Lord to allow the power of that one statement to enter our hearts. That we are one, really one, because only in the understanding of the one will the full power of it come unto us. Because we're one with God through Christ Jesus. And the purpose of it is, so by the works that we do, they will the world, not, not your mother and father, not your saved aunt and uncle, but the world, the kids around you that aren't saved, the people at your job that aren't saved, the people in the stores that aren't saved, the people on the streets that aren't saved, that they will know that the Father sent the Son. Because if the Father sent the Son, then this is a real, this is real. Yes, it is. And if this is real, the world's about to get rocked. Amen. I'm serious. But that's only going to come when we witness, when our witness, yeah. our lives, witness the truth of the presence of Jesus Christ in us. Amen. He says again in verse 23, no, wait a minute, sorry. In 22 he says, and the glory, now he's still talking about us, and the glory which thou givest me, I have given them, that they may be one, even as we are one. We have the glory of God upon us, that we may be one with God yeah. through Jesus Christ. Yeah. 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 And it says, and he goes on to say, I in them, and you in me, that they be made perfect or mature or complete, complete in one, that the world may know that you have sent me, and that you have loved them. He has loved us. As he loved Jesus. Yes. <clears throat> I think we don't want to receive the truth of that. I, don't, I can only speak for myself. I think when I first, done, I got it really early on in my walk. But it was too much. Because I felt the responsibility of it. However, God matures us and leads us to an understanding that it's him that works. That's I was right. only afraid because I thought it was about me. That's right. But it's not about me. It's about him. 
Yes. It's his glory. Yes, it is. It's his power. Yes, it is. It's his word. Yes, it is. And I belong to him. Thank you, Lord. And so do you. Because you said yes. Is there anybody here that hasn't said yes? Yes. We said yes to Jesus. Yes, we did. Now, who in the, and the witness that you are. So I just want you, I want you to leave with the word witness burned into your brain. What are you witnessing <laughs> to the world around you? Because it's not to, I mean, it's, it's important. There's things that have to happen in the church. But this message isn't about this. This message is so that the world will know yeah. that the Father sent the Son. Hallelujah. And salvation is real. Yes, it is. Yeah. And the Holy Ghost is real. Yeah. And the Jesus Spirit in us is real. Really? And our ability to pray for people and they get healed is real. Yes. Our ability to lay hands on people and they'll be delivered is real. Yes. Yes. It's true. Yes. And our ability to speak a word if God gives us to us and people's hearts will be changed. Yes. And people will seek him. Yes. That's the truth. That's who we are. We had a lesson on believers. God, this is like chapter 3 of the book that he's doing. But the thing about it is, is that that's your witness. What do people left with? Are they left with you as a nice person? Or are they left with Jesus as a power and a force and the only way to salvation that there is and the healing and deliverance that the world needs has to come from us or yes. it isn't coming. Yes. That's it. Witness. Witness. Yeah. Witness. Witness. people see Jesus in me. If this is you, come to the altar and talk to him. Say it to him. This is about being a witness. The power of being a powerful witness. you willing to let him make you a witness for himself. And you'll go through the circumstances and the situations. You'll study the word. You'll do whatever it takes to be a witness All right. to God. A witness to the world around you. I thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. If you want to glorify God, thank you, you want Jesus. to give God glory, you thank want His glory to reign on the earth, and you'll be a witness to that. You'll participate in that. You'll participate in the glory of God reigning on earth. Thank you. 